You're very welcome back. Now, given a choice, they'd choose a hammer and nail over a PlayStation or an Xbox any day. And now Ronan and Conor McGarvey have turned their interest in wood turning into a profitable business. But these are not your typical entrepreneurs at just 10 and 14 years of age. They are two of Ireland's youngest businessmen. And they join us now along with their father, Owen. A very good morning to the three of you. Thank you for coming on this morning. Um, Conor, I'll start with yourself. Where did this idea come from? How did it all begin? Well, we were on our holidays in County Antrim a year and a half ago, and there was actually a wood turner there. His name is Jeff Chillip, and he was letting the public turn their own pens, and it all started out from there. And you'd never done anything like that or seen it been done before, no? no. Yeah. And then, um, um, Ronan, was it a case of like just pestering your father and your mother? You know, you wanted to try this out and to, to get the, the, the actual wood turner, the lathe. The yeah, machine. we were pestering mum and dad in my home. Can we get a lathe? Can we get a lathe? And then he finally let in. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the usual request, on, is it, that you'd expect from young lads? Not particularly, no, but uh, that day, like, they, they, they were at the show, like, they, they had a big interest in it, and uh, they kept us up with the lathe maybe for two or three weeks or whatever, so finally we decided, you know, we'd give it in. Initially assuming it would be one of these things that would die down after yeah. a month, but no, they, they kept with it. So it's there, it's just pens, is it, and pencils or pencils what? as well? Pencils as well, yeah. and so you make them from beech and cherry and all different types of wood, is it? Yeah. And you do the whole thing yourselves? Yeah. Well, apart from cutting it, Dad cuts it first, and that's it. And we're looking at some of them there on screen. We have some here on the table in the studio as well. So basically, they start out as just a, a little block of the wood, whatever wood you choose. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. And then we have to cut it and drill it. Then we'd put a metal tube inside it, and then we'd turn on the lid. Yeah. And then you box them up and you put in the literature and everything about them. And who's selling them? Do you have local shops involved? or? Uh, yeah, there's about eight or nine local shops in Donegal, and then they're on the website as well. Uh, and how much are you charging for them? They start from 15.95 on the website. That's not bad That's for, for handcrafted. I believe handcrafted. Daniel O'Donnell is a fan. Yeah, he has a link on his main website. And you've got a few, you've given them to a few politicians as well, I understand, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Who? Well, Brian Cowan has won. Um, Jerry Adams. Jerry Adams has won and... Eamon Gilmore. Eamon Gilmore. Mm. You might be using it a lot more. You could be there. using it in Dollar. Like yeah, yeah exactly. So, oh, what that, do you yeah, think, I mean, all this? I mean, you must be delighted. Are you rubbing your hands together in glee, thinking your retirement is sorted <laughs> by your young fellas? Maybe that's the long-term plan. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're you know, they've really stuck with it. And, uh, you know, the, the interest has there, even now from the local craft shops. They had some in craft shops last year, but they've had calls even from craft shops this year that, that hadn't didn't stock them at any stage. So they're preparing some orders now for them, like, and they've had a huge response, you know, through the website. They've sent pens to American. New Zealand, um, all parts of England, all parts of Ireland. And, and that's, that's what's it, DonegalPens.com? DonegalPens.com, yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. Well, I, they're really well finished. And I mean, did you have some trial and error where there's some that just didn't work out? Like, I mean, you know, you've obviously been practicing a lot to get them to the, that sort of standard that you could, you could, yeah, you could well, make we them went, so well. Yeah, um, well, we for a two day kind of induction with the Jeff fella after right. we had done our own pens there. Dad and then took off on your own. Yeah. Excellent. Well, well, so what have you done with your cash so far? Has, has Daddy taken it or has he allowed you to buy any sweets? No, nah, we've just fully really bought more supplies of wood and that and new machinery. Oh, that's so sensible. You didn't blow it all on any, anything at all, no? No, yeah. not yet. But I think you have your eye on something in particular, haven't you? Not really. No? No. Did I not hear a quad bike mentioned at I some point? Maybe. Maybe. No, yeah, there's obviously negotiations still going exactly. on. Is that right, on? Yeah, that's just a fact. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of negotiation going on there at the minute. And what's the plan now? Are you going to expand into, into anything else or just stick with the pens? Well, they would, particularly they, they, moved, they moved into pay pencils and they're hoping to get into fountain pens later on this year. The fountain pens, they would find them more complicated. They have tried a few of them, but uh, you know they just ran into some bother with them. There's more more precise turning involved, more assembling, and they're just a wee bit more advanced than, than the standard pens and the mechanical pencils. Is there anything on the market like these in Ireland, or be the first? 
No, well, uh, uh, um, anyone that is wood turner, most wood turners, you know, would have turned some pens. But I suppose the boys maybe are, are, are the first that have gone into it in this scale. Like, you know, they, they are actually members of the Irish Wood Turners Guild, and they would attend a monthly meeting with the Northwest Branch in Donegal on the second Wednesday of every month. And t most of the guys there would turn pens. But as I said, none of them are turning really to that extent. Right. Uh, good on you. Fair play to you. It's a great enterprise from two young men, and it's great to see. And I'm sure Donegal, like any other place else in the country. That's the sort of thing that they, they want to see and will need in the, the local community there. So congratulations. A big well both. done, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for coming on this morning. No bother, all the best.